This conference will now be recorded. You will understand what is stability studies. Stability studies for you. Stability studies process work. How the stability studies process works. Okay. Master data required stability studies in the system. Objects used in stability studies. How the what are the different objects used to carry out the stability studies process? Planning the stability studies. How to do the how to plan the stability studies? Performing the initial test. How the initial test is performed, then execution of stability studies, and finally completion of stability studies. So these are the topics we will be covering in the stability studies. Okay. So stability studies or shelf life studies are performed in the chemical, pharmaceutical, and food industries to examine how different environmental conditions such as temperature moisture and brightness affect a product or a batch over a specified period of time so basically stability studies are performed to uh, calculate the expiry date of a of a material or a product okay suppose normally when we go to a medical shop or a pharmacy pharmacy we when when we purchase this uh, medicines uh, like tablets or capsules okay or any uh, syrups Tonics, you will be seeing the three things normally. Okay, you will see the batch number. Okay, and you will see you will see the batch number, and then you will see the manufacturing date. Okay, and you will see the expiry date. Expiry date. So normally, once this expiry date is reached, you will not use it you will not purchase it or it is not uh, allowed it is not recommended for uh, uh, consumption basically so once the expiry date is reached that product or material you will not be using anymore so the question is how this expiry date is calculated okay so this expiry date is calculated by using this stability studies or shelf life studies both same okay stability studies stability studies are carried out to determine the shelf life of a product so basically that's what i just explained so it is nothing but it is just executed carried out to find out the what is the shelf life period of a product okay the product is stored under controlled condition for the duration of the study i will i will explain in this in detail okay so they will store the product in a particular uh, conditions for a particular period i will explain you can then use these results of these tests which have accumulated over the course of the study for example to check and confirm whether the desired or guaranteed life expectancy of the product conforms to the predefined recommendations for storage so basically they store the product for a particular duration with particular conditions environmental conditions storage conditions and after that they will check whether the product is meeting the predefined uh, uh, quality parameters for the duration of the study. Okay. So to determine to determine the shelf life of a product, for example, you create physical samples of the product. Okay, so here you need physical samples. So already we we covered in a class in a session physical samples management. Okay, so anyhow here we will be creating the physical samples. The product is stored under controlled conditions for the duration of the study. So what they do they store the product for a particular period under specific controlled conditions okay at specified intervals during the study you remove these physical samples or parts of these samples from various conditions and test them according to predefined inspection plans so that means i'll explain this with a simple example so let's say they have a product a product a okay so what they do so they take the product so let's say today our date is 07 07 0 
2020. Okay, so now what they do? They store the product under some environmental condition. Let's say we'll take temperature. Our 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 criteria is temperature. Temperature. So what they do? They store it in let's say five degree. Five degree. Five degrees. Okay. Then 25 degree room temperature then let's say 40 degree okay and let's say then uh, 80 degree just give me i'm just giving an example so these are our storage conditions so these are called storage condition okay put one more. insert let me put one more as like 10 degree okay so these are called our storage conditions these are our storage conditions conditions okay now in the you have interval so let's say first is one month okay next three months okay next six months next one year okay three years Okay, then five years. This is our interval. Okay, so these are all our interval. Duration or duration or interval. Duration. Okay. So now what they do? So let's say we are starting is uh, stability studies from today. Okay, so they will store the product. They will store the product here let's say uh, let's say the product is in kg okay or let's say uh, tablets let 10 tablets here okay 10 tab okay here like this they will store Okay, now they will store the product like this. So now today we are starting. So what they do after one month, okay. Okay, so what they do. So today we started our start date. target okay so we stored uh, the product on this date so after one month after one month means what is the date after one month they will after one month means on 07 03 2020 04 04 2022 on this date after one month they will take out all these samples and then they will do the testing testing they will check all the parameters they will do the quality inspection if everything is okay it's okay now after three months three months means march april may june okay on this date they will take out three month samples they will do the testing if everything is okay 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 so like this they will continue now after six months six months means march April, May, June, July, August, September. So on this date, September. Okay, September means nine. So on this date, six month samples they will take out. Okay, and then they will do the testing. If everything is okay, okay. Now after one year, one year means 07, 03, 2023. On this date, they take one year samples. One year samples, and then they will do all the parameters. Okay, all, all the samples which are stored at different environmental conditions. They will take out these samples. Okay, now after three years, suppose let's say after three years, three years means 23, 24, 25. So during the 20, this period, after three years, they will take out the samples and they do the testing. Suppose let's say this time, testing done, but results are failing, not okay. Okay, then they will determine three years as the 
expiry period. These three years is determined as the expiry period so because the results are failing. After three years, product is not meeting the defined criteria. So now how to execute this process in the SAP system, we need to understand. So we should have storage conditions and we should have our intervals, duration, duration with the specified intervals. Okay. Here I took only just one example, storage condition, but you can have different, different storage conditions. Okay. Hmm. The stability study process consists of three main phases, initial test, stability planning, and stability test. Okay, we will see both. We will solve the three. Okay. So this is the process basically. So in the system, first we need to create the stability study. Okay, that is this is done through a quality notification. Okay. So in the create stability study phase, you create initial sample, you confirm the initial sample. If required, you assign a stability bill of metal. This is optional, not mandatory. So in this phase, you do this thing. Now, next phase is initial testing. In the initial testing, you do the initial quality inspection. So for the initial sample, you generate an inspection lot and then you perform the testing and you complete the testing. Okay. So when the initial testing is done, okay, if your if your results are okay, then you will go for stability plan. If in the initial testing itself, your results, everything fails, your quality inspection fails, then you will not do any stability. Study. So once initial test is done, if it is okay, then you do the stability planning. And after that followed by stability testing, and finally you will complete it. So in the stability planning, you define the storage conditions, the one which I explained in the Excel. You store the stability samples, then you create a testing schedule. So testing schedule is nothing but this one. This is the schedule. One month, three months, six months, one year, three years, five years. And these are the storage conditions. Okay. So that's what you will do. And you will perform the, you give the start date. You give the start date of the stability study. And then you execute it. When you schedule it, automatically system will generate the loss. So this is, the, this is what we are going to execute. First you create stability study. Then you create initial sample. Then for that initial sample, you create an inspection lot. Inspection lot. Using that inspection lot, you perform initial testing, and then that you complete the initial testing. So this is the phase one. This is the phase one. After that, you define the storage condition. Once the initial test is okay, then you will define the storage condition. This, the one which is marked with light blue color. This is the planning phase. This is the planning. Okay, so you define the storage conditions, you, you create the testing schedule and you store it, store them at a particular temporary, those environmental conditions, storage conditions, and you define the startup cycle. After that, this is the execution part. So when you schedule it, once that particular one month, three months, six months is reached, system will automatically generate the inspection parts to carry out the testing. Okay, so now we need to see this in the system, how to do it. Okay, so to do to carry out stability studies in the system, normally it is done through a quality notification. Quality notification, and you need a testing schedule, and you need physical sample records. Okay, so now let's go to the system. Let's create a stability study. Okay, I'll show you the menu path. Go to logistics. Go to quality management. Okay, go to stability study. Okay, go to stability study, create. This is the decode, USD01. Double click. Okay, you will you will get this, create notification. Already we discussed notification. Here you have to use a different notification type. Select from the list. Here, I'll use this one. Stability study with material. Select the notification type. Eight. Okay, as there is some issue with the numbering. Okay, that, that I will I will uh, rectify it, then we can continue. 